No scandium for you. That's basically what China is telling the U.S. when it comes to its precious supply of rare earth elements. What are these, you ask? Well, they refer to these 15 elements scientists call lanthanides, but we're just going to call the weird ones who refuse to be boxed in like the rest of the periodic table sheep. Oh, and scandium and yttrium are also considered rare earth elements, but they do fit into the main periodic table because reasons. Anyway, China is throttling the export of precious rare earth elements, because what are those good for? Mainly making magnets, but not just the lame magnets that you find at the bottom of chess pieces. We're talking super magnets, more than 10 times as strong. And that matters because if you can make stronger magnets, you can make them smaller to do the same thing. So you can pack in more stuff and make things like motors and wind turbines more efficient. This is a total game changer because magnets are like the tiny invisible muscles that make everything in modern technology move. So the next time you hear some mumbo jumbo about promethium or dysprosium or praseodymium, what people are really talking about are the key ingredients in everything from smartphones to submarines, nuclear reactors, night vision goggles, missiles, MRI machines, fiber optics, and fuel cells.